Women are the backbones of society and inspire revolutions in a wide range of spaces, including on the gridiron. During Women's History Month, we salute a queen who made history in the world of sports, becoming the first black woman president of an NFL football team. Sandra Douglas Morgan had big dreams growing up in Las Vegas. However, making history as the only black female president in the NFL was never one of them. In her new role, the member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority is the first black woman to lead an NFL team in the league's history. Born on Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri, Sandra and her family moved to Las Vegas in the early 1980s, following her father's stationing at Nellie's Air Force Base. In the 90s, Sandra studied political science and communications at the University of Nevada. Her sophomore year, Sandra made the decision to take a constitutional law class and the course changed her life. Her early interest in law led to Sandra applying to the William S. Boyd School of Law at UNLV after graduation. She fell in love with law's complexities and the chance to use law to build a more fair, accessible world. In 2003, Sandra's drive and passion resulted in one of many historical moments in her career. Sandra Douglas became the first black person in Nevada's history to become a litigation attorney for the Mirage Casino Resort. Then in 2019, she shattered another glass ceiling by becoming the first person of color to serve as chair of the Nevada Gaming Control Board. A huge advocate of equity and respect, Sandra faced a tremendous amount of pressure at the height of the global pandemic. As the chair of the Gaming Control Board, she was responsible for managing the openings and closings of casinos in Las Vegas. There was no blueprint, no one could tell me what to do. I quickly learned not to be afraid of making an unpopular decision because ultimately I had to trust my gut and do what I felt was best for the people I managed and whose safety I was responsible for. The pressure Sandra faced alongside the lessons she learned would be great training for the professional wins that would follow. In 2021, Sandra became legal counsel for a law firm, started her own consulting business, and joined the Las Vegas Committee for Super Bowl 58. When she met Raiders owner Mark Davis in 2021, she offered her insight to him in case he ever needed business advice from a local. Since the team had just moved to Las Vegas during the 2020 season, Sandra's perspective was valuable. On July 17, 2022, Mark Davis named Sandra the team president. I realized at that moment that this job is much bigger than me. It's giving people hope and visibility and optimism that this is something you could strive for. To me, the definition of success isn't being the first, it's to have many, many others follow behind you. I don't want sports or other male-dominated industries to be a trail anymore. I want it to be an eight-lane highway open to all. Sandra aims to make the Raiders and the NFL more diverse, starting with the hire of a director of diversity, equity, and inclusion. She plans to strengthen the Raiders' community culture, creating more organization opportunities and more community activities in and around Las Vegas. As the first black woman appointed president to an NFL team, Sandra Douglas Morgan is a trailblazer, paving the way for more women in sports.